The nursing shortage in Idaho continues to be pretty severe. As recently as six months ago, there were about 1,600 nursing jobs unfilled around the Gem State. That shortage is felt most in rural areas. One lawmaker is trying to change that, though, by giving nurses an incentive to live and work in Idaho's small towns. And if House Bill 84 makes it into law, it would establish a nursing loan repayment fund focused on those rural parts of the state. Abby Davis spoke with the representative sponsoring that bill. And Abby, it's about obviously getting those recruits from upcoming graduates, right? That's exactly right. And there are actually already loan repayment programs for physicians and other health care providers. But Representative Dory Healy told me it's time to start investing in Idaho's upcoming generation of nurses. Recruiting and retaining nurses in rural Idaho isn't easy. In Idaho, only about 24% of all registered nurses in the state live in rural areas. Nurse Leaders of Idaho President-elect Bree Sandow says that's not enough. All critical access hospitals in the state of Idaho today have open um, nursing positions. One bill headed to the Idaho House floor addresses that nursing shortage. If signed into law, House Bill 84 would establish a rural nursing loan repayment fund. This would start July 1st, 2023. Dory Healy, a nurse and Republican lawmaker, sponsored the bill. She says money for the fund would come from the $410 million set aside for education this legislative session. New graduates would get up to $25,000 to help pay off loans, but would need to work in one specific rural area for five years. As they work each year, they're going to get some of that loan paid back. Idaho has nearly 2,000 fewer rural nurses than it did in 2018. That's according to Idaho Center for Nursing data. As you can imagine, new graduate nurses who are just leaving school tend to want to go um, to areas that are more populated. Nurses have also been moving out of rural areas and into cities the past few years. Some of these smaller hospitals don't pay quite as much, but then if you look at that, it's also more expensive to live in a larger city. And so if we can help offset that with paying back some of their student loans, that might be more inviting to go maybe make a couple of dollars less, but yet have your student loans paid back. Healy hopes future nurses realize the benefits of working in rural Idaho. And when you're in those small communities, you just become such a part of the community that I think that'll just, they'll, they'll want to stay. The bill should be on the House floor soon. Healy said hopefully in the next week or so, so we'll see what happens there. A really similar bill last year failed in the Senate. Sando um, told me also that 35% of nurses in Idaho are over the age of 55, so a lot of nurses are aging out and they're retiring and they're just not there just are not enough nurses who are graduating to really fill that gap. So a lot of different issues contributing to this shortage right now. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Abby Davis, thank you.